Well, we're back again. And today we're going to take on High Terra. Terra, I guess. This level has antennas and climbing and all sorts of other things. And probably pterodactyls, because this is a game about dinosaurs. Well, we're back in the jungle again for a brief bit. Most missions do this for some reason. I don't know why they have a little brief jungle portion. Just to sort of establish that you're starting in the jungle and you're ending up somewhere else. I mean, the Seek and Destroy mission had you fight like two raptors and then go into a volcano. In the same vein, this mission has you fight four raptors and then you go to the main area of the stage. Okay. This is the best music in the game, but it plays in one of the worst levels. And I think you can already see why. Those little flying guys from Seek and Destroy are back on a cliffside level where you could fall to your death. Now, any action platformer veteran will tell you, that's not a good thing. Oh, I don't like these guys at all. I seriously do not appreciate these little fellas. I don't know what it is about them, but they're just nasty. And in addition to that, you've got falling rocks. Yeah, you got a lot to worry about in this level. And your health can be drained pretty frickin' fast, let me tell you. And then, to make matters worse, this isn't just climb straight up and get to the top. This is climb up in the right place and enter the right caves and get up. It's not exactly mazy, but it can be confusing at first, because the way they lay up levels is like... The way you think you're supposed to go is not the way you're actually supposed to go. And you won't even realize that for quite a while. Oh. At least the pterodactyls are not that bad. And falling rocks. God, I hate this mountain, but I love that music. It just sounds so Jurassic Park. Just choirs. I like it. Don't like those guys, though. So. We're climbing down the mountain. Already that should tell you, gee, I don't think I should be climbing down. I mean, I'm supposed to be climbing to an antenna. Well, all of that was to get some ammo. Yeah, now we get the backtrack. You, you were going the wrong way the entire time, but here's some stuff. I just wanted the health, because I'm going to want health for this level, because of all the falling rocks and little flying enemies coming at me. Ugh. I really don't like this level. I just... But I love that music, so I'm, I'm just so goddamn conflicted about this thing. At least there are no biosyn agents around yet. I mean, the mission briefing said that we're going to run into them, and we are going to run into them, but not yet. Not on this mountaintop, thank God for that, because I don't think I could deal with Mr. Flamethrower while jumping from cliff to cliff. Now, we're actually supposed to go to the left and then up. And that's, of course, makes perfect sense, right? God, they love to fly. Now, those the AI on those things... If you get hit by them and knocked down, they fly around you. So their AI is basically, go to where you are. Oh, and we gotta go in that cave. You don't want to go up anymore, no. You just gotta go in that cave. Oh, but there's a way up. This must be the right way. Hmm? Yeah, I mean, we're climbing up this time instead of climbing down. Surely it's the correct way to go. Hmm? Well, you'd think so, but you'd be wrong again. Of course, I kind of telegraphed it by saying, Oh, of course it's the right way to go. You'd think that, wouldn't you? But, uh, no. We're getting some more health. There might be more health in this level if you explore more, but these are the only two little power-up sections I know of, and, well, that's all I really need to beat the level, because we're almost done. It's not the shortest, but we're almost done it, thank God. You just have to climb back down this section and then go up the other side. Go up the left side instead of the right. God, those little things. They will hover on you if you let them. So don't let them. I really wish I knew what they were supposed to be. 
other than a pain in my ass. Uh, almost done, at least. Or the cliff part, in the way. But this jump here. Oh, this jump. <sighs> I hate it. Oh, shit! That was a fall. I don't know how I survived that. I got really lucky, but... <laughs> And these things respawn here, too. It's almost like, dare I say, Ninja Gaiden birds. <sighs> Thank God. We're at the tower. Now all we have to deal with are Biosyn guys. And we've got a shotgun for that, so fuck all y'all. I'm gonna blow you away. I'm very good at that. Some of them are kind of placed poorly, but otherwise it's great. I like the... I guess that's snow on there. I guess we're that high up. So I want to know how it became night so goddamn fast. I mean, it's weird, because when you're on one side of the cliff, it's day, but then you go into a door and it's night, I, and then you go back up and it's day. I don't, I don't understand it myself, but it's a video game. That, that's the answer to all your questions. It's a video game, and it isn't supposed to matter. Yeah, see, you gotta be quick on your feet there, and I don't know how to not get shot by that guy, but... Eh. I don't care. I've got lots of health. I can handle it. It's pretty great. I'm gonna run forward more, and it's great because you're going up an antenna, so... The higher you climb, the less horizontal distance you have to move. Because it's an antenna, it's triangular, see? I, I like that. I like that design. If someone made a big NES map of this, it it'd look really... Nifty, I think. That NES Atlas guy. Get him to do a map of this level. I'd love to see that shit. So someone email that guy. But well, we're at the antenna. We've made it. And everything's great. We beat High Terra. Great work! Hurrah! The antenna's operational. Now we can send messages. But, uh, your emergency mission. Well, I guess we immediately called for help, but now they know that we need help, and they're going to try and uh, stop us getting cool shit. So, it's time once again for everyone's favorite. Run to the right and shoot things. But this level's way harder than Protect the Gallimimus. For one thing, you're timed. For another thing, the placement on these guys is brutal. Like, you got flamethrower guys this time. I don't think they were in Protect the Gallimimus, even though I did that yesterday. I can't remember if they were in there or not. Pretty sure they weren't. But now there's all sorts of flamethrower dudes. And plenty of guys hucking gas grenades. Plenty of that. Ah, but here's some supplies from our friendly dropship. And we're gonna get ourselves some shotgun ammo, hopefully, and to... One bit of health. You're not going to see any more health until the end of this level, so... Be sure to be careful. And not get hit. Because if you get hit too many times, you are boned. Because of a certain dick move they pull later on in the stage. Oh god, no. I'm just going to stick with the machine gun until I get some more ammo for the shotgun. Oh, look at that. Get some more ammo for the shotgun. Alright. So, you'd think we're on easy street now. We got the shotgun, we can just blow everybody away. Well, no. Not at all. Surprise, rocket launcher man. Indicating that you're not going to have a good time of it at all, to be completely honest with you. <laughs> no. God, no. That spot. That spot right there. I don't think there's any other way beyond taking a shitload of damage from that fire guy. You could drop down and kill him, I guess, but... Man, you're gonna take a lot of damage either way, so just run. See, I'm almost dead now. And they give you health. Oh! But that's the end of the level. <laughs> you just kill those two guys, you're done. <laughs> what the fuck? I don't understand. Well, we got a new weapon, though we have no ammo for it, but we'll show it off in one of these two missions your last chance to vote. T-Rex Carnage or Blockade? Someone really wants T-Rex Carnage. Will they get their wish? Mm. 